Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Red Dead Redemption 2 Survivalist Challenge Guide. In this guide I'll be taking you over the easiest and quickest way on how you can complete all the survivalist challenges. So without further ado, let's immediately jump into it, because challenge number 1 requires you to catch 3 bluegill fish. The bluegill can be found literally all over the world, but the spot that I personally picked was the one over here. Uh, I found them very consistently and it was very simple to get them. Uh, their favorite bait is cheese, so if you have cheese bait with you, make sure to use that as well. Although I have seen it happen a few times that with any other bait they are being caught as well. Transitioning immediately into challenge number two, which requires you to hand five animals into the camp or trapper. So if you're smart about this one, with those three bluegill fish, that they already caught, catch another two extra blue gill or any other fish and then hand them in into the camp. If you do so, challenge number two will be over in just a few seconds, really. Challenge number three requires you to kill five animals using the farm and rifle. Now, this one is also very easy too. All you need to do is you head, need to head down to the, any gunsmith and you will find the farm and rifle right there as well. It's a .22 caliber rifle, which means that it's not really gonna pack a punch. So you probably primarily want to go for like things like rabbits or birds so anything that is like a small animal you can obviously also kill like deer or whatever but that will require a couple more bullets either way just get five kills and you will be done challenge number four requires you to craft a dynamite fire improved poison and small game arrow now we're going to start off easy with the fire arrow which only requires you to get some animal fat and also a flight feather. Now feathers can be found all over the place. Just kill any birds and you'll be able to get yourself a flight feather. Obviously the spot that I personally really like to use is Twin Stack Pass near Valentine, uh, but literally anywhere in the world you can find birds, so don't worry too much about that. An improved arrow simply only requires a flight feather. A poison arrow requires you to get oleander sage and also a flight feather. Oleander sage can be found around this area in the swamps. Do watch out for gators though, they might be hungry today. And and a small game arrow requires you to mix uh, shotgun shells with a flight feather, uh, which uh, isn't too difficult to find. Again, shotgun shells can be literally any shotgun shells, just regular ones that you can also buy from the gunsmith if you don't have any. Now, the dynamite arrow requires a little bit more effort because either you have to complete the mission A Short Walk in a Pretty Town, which is a chapter 3 mission, in order to be able to get it from the fence, or you can decide to head down to this location uh, in the Indian camp where you can and find yourself the pamphlet for the dynamite arrow. And obviously that means that you will have the recipe for free. Do make sure, however, that if you do pick up a pamphlet, that you actually go to your recipes tab and read the recipe. If you don't, you will not have learned the recipe and you will not be able to craft a dynamite arrow. And then when you have acquired the pamphlet, all you need to do really is to have some dynamite and the flight feather and then stick the two arrow and that will be you done with the challenge. It's not a hard challenge at all, you just really need to find the right materials. Animal fat can be acquired from boars and a very nice location for that is uh, north of Sanadi around that swamp area. I found it very easy to spot uh, about a couple of boars. Just kill a couple of those so you're also prepared for future challenges in the survivalist challenges. Challenge number five requires you to catch a fish while boating in the bayou and while standing on the road tracks. Now the easiest way to get yourself a boat is to head down to the docks at Sanadi and uh, kind of just look around and see if people are using a boat and then get close to them and just kind of cut them off as you're swimming and then steal their boats and just you know head down a little bit further and then you'll be able to throw out your fishing rod and you just catch a fish and that's it really you don't actually have to go all the way to the bayou uh, i just unlocked the challenge by simply being in any random river really so and the best part about doing it this way is that you're already next to the railroad tracks that we're going to be using in order to complete this challenge all you want to do is you want to stand right here just throw out your fishing rod and just catch any fish and you will be done. Chance number six requires you to kill an animal scavenging a corpse five times. Now while you're doing this challenge and you kill those birds, make sure to pick up their feathers for the next challenge. It will save you a bunch of times if you do so. Now what you want to do for this challenge is you want to head down the Twin Stack Pass because there's a nice open area and the birds will be easy to spot. And then kill a deer or a buck and then uh, just wait until the birds uh, fly towards that dead deer or dead buck. You have to do that same thing five times and killing five birds will simply not count as you could probably see with a clip that I've been showing by blowing up five birds with a stick of dynamite. 
that just counted as one thing. You have to repeat this process five times, and when you do so, you can move on to challenge number seven. Challenge number seven requires you to kill eight small game with consecutive shots using small game arrows. Now, if you've been a bit of a smart uh, guy or gal, then you have some feathers from the previous challenge, and maybe even some small game arrows from previous challenges as well. If you haven't, then obviously the only thing you need for small game arrows is some shotgun shells and some flight feathers. Once you got your small game arrows, all you want to do is you want to head down to this location right here, where you should be able to spot a good couple of low flying birds. Those are the small game that you want to be targeting. Obviously, make sure that your dead eye is fully charged so you can get those consecutive shots. And then once you're done with that, you will have completed the challenge and you can move on to challenge number eight. It's not an awfully difficult challenge. Uh, you really just need to make sure that you don't shoot anything else or miss uh, while you're doing this challenge, because if you do so, you're going to have to start over. So another great tip as well is that before you attempt this challenge and you have crafted plenty of small game arrows is to make a manual save just in case you mess up and you have to you know make more small game arrows this way you can just simply reload your safe and you'll be able to knock this out a whole lot quicker challenge number eight requires you to craft a hummock tomahawk an improved tomahawk a volatile dynamite and a volatile fire bottle now in order to craft a hummock tomahawk what you need is an owl feather the best location for this one is in this island right here and now if you've been watching the gameplay i've been showing you how to actually get there as well uh, you simply use your horse you don't really need to use a boat but if you happen to be in that camp right there and you have the boat upgrade obviously they'll be a bit easier as well and of course you need to be there at night don't try to set up a campfire when you're on the islands it will teleport you back to the mainland so don't attempt that i speak from experience and it can be pretty annoying to having to go back once again owls can be recognized pretty easily because there are quite wide birds whenever they're flying around simply kill one of them grab yourself the feathers and move on to the next one which is the improved tomahawk which requires to get a hog feather now with a little luck you already got some hog feathers from a previous challenge if not you can find them pretty easily with the same strategy that we used in challenge six in order to attract some hogs and kill them twin stack pass is a pretty nice location for it so you should be able to find them there pretty easily the volatile dynamite requires you to get some animal fat and some high velocity ammo. It can be literally any sort of high velocity ammo really. It can be revolver or rifle, it really doesn't matter as long as it's high velocity. And if you haven't got the recipe yet for the volatile dynamite, you can get this from the fence whenever you have completed the mission American Distillation, which is a chapter 3 mission. And the volatile fire bottle requires you to get some moonshine and animal fat. And in order to get the recipe, you must have completed the mission pouring forth oil and after that you'll be able to purchase the recipe at the fence as well moonshine can be gotten from the fence too so if you need that then you know where to find it Challenge number 9 requires you to catch a fish that weighs at least 19 pounds. Now if you want to do this very quickly and very easily what you want to do is you want to go for a legendary fish in a location right here. Now in order to unlock legendary baits you need to have started the mission called a fisher of fish which is a stranger mission right here. When just watch the intro cutscene you'll be set on the quest to go and hunt all those legendary fish but you will also be able to go down to the bait shop which is over here and there you can find yourself some special lake bait and you want to be purchasing that in order to head down to this location right here where you can find a legendary fish. Catching the legendary fish can be a bit of a struggle though, so you know, obviously you want to bring your A game when it comes to your fishing skills. Uh, generally what I've found uh, is the easiest way to do this is by uh, pulling your stick back and then reeling in your line and as soon as you see that the fish is uh, giving you a bit of a hard time then let it go and then either go to the left or right depending on where the fish is heading to as soon as you stop struggling then do the exact same thing by pulling back your stick and reeling in the line again and kind of keep fighting it until you finally have it so try to be patient with this one because obviously it's fishing and fishing requires patience and yes that is coming from someone who has the least amount of patience ever imagined Imaginable. Challenge number 10 requires you to basically catch every single fish that there is available in the world. Um, you only have to catch one of each, so 
don't worry too much about them. There's a total of 15, and rather than just showing you footage of me catching every single one of them, that's not really interesting. So what I've done instead is I've made five maps for you uh, that will be showing on screen and kind of go along with you and kind of explaining what's going on on each screen. Now, one thing I want you to keep in mind is that it is very possible that you find completely different fish in like the same location as me. That is very much possible. But I've picked all these locations so you uh, will have a rough idea of where you can find certain fish. Bluegill, for example, you can find all over the world. Same for rock bass, same for a, a couple of others, but these are just general areas where you should be able to find a bunch of them in the same position. Now what I've done in these images is I put my poor Photoshop skills to use and I created a red circle, which is the area you want to be fishing in, and then also showing uh, in text what exactly is the fish you could be catching and what the preferred bait is for it. Now typically what you want to do with smaller fish as well, by the way, is that you want to throw your fishing rod a bit closer to the edge of the water. Uh, the way you do that is by simply just, you know, very shortly pressing uh, the uh, trigger button and then it will uh, not throw it uh, completely to the other side of the water. If you're looking for bigger fish like Northern Pike, for example, it's a really good idea to throw it as far away as possible because obviously those type of fish are in deeper water. Now, Salmon, you'll be better off to find in the little uh, river streak above the river. And then if you head more towards the, the river, you'll be able to find muscle very easily too. Another good tip I could give you as well is that if you can really find the fish you're looking for in that certain location, try altering your position a little bit. And as well with the combination of eagle eye, you'll be able to get a better indication of where the fish is that you want to search for. Just because you're in that certain spot doesn't mean that all the fish will suddenly come looking for you. You obviously have to do a little bit of effort, you know, to to make them catch your bait. A few tips to make fishing a little bit more effective is by slowly reeling in your uh, reel as well as your uh, fishing. It makes the fish a little bit more interested in your bait as well as giving your trigger button a quick tap in order to make the rod go up and down the water as well. And once you finally complete challenge 10, you'll be able to go ahead and go to the trapper to pick up your rewards for challenge one, three, seven, and 10. And then you will be able to walk around in your brand new reinforced survivalist gear. And that brings us to the end of the survivalist challenge guide. If you found this useful, make sure to leave it a like, subscribe for much more Red Dead Redemption 2 content and challenge guides coming up very soon. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.